Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to some Fallout 4. For some reason it's not letting me fast travel though. Oh, there we go. I, I don't know why it wasn't letting me fast travel, but yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said last time, we are going to quickly stop in at the Kitty Kingdom in the World of Refreshment to pick up the uh, loot that the gangs have gathered for me. Which also means that they're actually like wandering you around. Try now. climbing on top of those spinning things and getting high. But yeah, there we go. As you can see, hard and feathered the last alphas. Ain't been seen since. Okay, to oh wow, they give you tickets too. It. But anyway, yeah, they put uh, you have tribute stashes at each of these locations, and I do believe that when you take over a settlement in the Commonwealth, you can build the tribute. But so yeah, as you can see, they're all. Children here to fatten up before eating them? Well, no, that's not why they brought them here. But yeah, I don't think that they. Uh, for some reason, I thought that they hung out at the castle, but I guess they hang out out front here. But yeah, yeah I don't think that they change a whole lot. No one's a slave that don't and uh, it doesn't look like they really expand very far, which is honestly a real shame. Because, I mean, I feel like if you're going to go through the trouble of, uh, you know, having us take over the locations and then assign a gang to take control of them. I mean, like, look at the presence of the gangs in the, uh... oh, wow, they actually took out, took up a, a good section out here. But, like, look at the presence of the gangs in, like, the main area, right? Like, I was hoping there'd be more caps at a bottom. Uh, and it's just kind of honestly a little disappointing how little they do with the locations that you ca capture for them. But anyway, we're going to head over to the uh, Safari Adventure. And do that one. Uh, it's also, I don't think, a very long one. Hopefully, I can... Uh, Like to get to that train. Hopefully, I can get make some progress on my uh, killing Nuka World creatures while under the effects of a Nuka mixture. I did make myself some Nuka elixirs in order to accomplish that goal. Uh, and apparently, it's a good thing I didn't remember that I needed that achievement while we were clearing up the Nuka lurks because. Uh, I guess they don't count towards that because they're just technically different Meyer Lurks, which are a base game enemy. That's weird that they actually have like a step pack in there. But yeah, there's like 21. <coughs> of these things in here. Now, I don't know if I want to. Carry weight. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll use this one first. So yeah, these are gator claws. Hey. Man, Sito see you kill monster. You friend? Sure. We can be friends. He so happy have strong friends. You kill monster alone. Monster strong, but you stronger. Sito happy you kill monster. Monster hurt Sito and Sito family. What the heck are those things? Are they some sort of death claw? Death? Claw? Sito not know. Sito only know death bad and monster bad. Not today, pal. Man, 
Oh, god damn it. Really? The stupid bull showed up and now it's gonna sure. start this. You kill Sito, happy you kill Mo. Well, we can't hurt you anymore, Sito. No. Many more monster. No stop. Sito kill monster. New monster come. Sito kill monster again. New monster come again. Monsters not stop. Help Sito stop monsters. Of course. I'll help. Sito happy you help. New friend, follow Sito. Sito show you thing. Thing to help kill monsters. And unfortunately, Sito stuck in corner because the Gator Claw pushed him into it. Which is super unfortunate. But what can you do, right? I also did clear out my inventory, although I didn't uh, toss away the Sword of Wonders, I actually just kept that. Because with its uh, legendary effect of ignoring armor and energy, Resist armor, yeah, and energy resistance. It's uh, actually a pretty decent thing. Oh, no, damn it, Cedo. Okay, that's the welcome center. Don't think that's. The gorilla house, please refrain from making I, that's where we need to go is the gorilla house. Thank you. Uh. Yeah. So we're supposed to be going to the primate house. You are here, and unfortunately, that doesn't tell me where the primate house is. I think it's this way, so that's the way we'll go. But yeah, as long as that little, like, pill symbol is, uh, on the screen, I should, it should be counting anything, any of these that I kill. And I mean, I realized that I just said that, like, the Nuka Lurks don't count because they're just a different Meyer Lurk, and these are basically a different Death Claw. But I think that they, uh, are considered different. Pretty sure, anyway. But anyway, this is where he's supposed to be leading us. Although, I guess I should probably quick save before I go in here. Just in case this uh, kind of fucks it up since he didn't bring us here. Got it. And, you know, he should. And, you know, he would unlock the door for us. No, he's not going. But yeah, these are all ghoul rillas. So unlike the uh, the synth gorillas, these ones were real and got turned into ghouls. Which, you know, calls into question, why didn't more animals turn into ghouls? Because it seems rather strange that they did, right? still stuck there so hang on let me do this because it'll just cause a load and it should reset him no nope, and he's still stuck there let me try this Uh, 
Come on, Cedo. Oh, there we go. There we go. And he's off. Oh, he's taking a different pathway than I took. Maybe we'll come across another Gator Claw. Get up to three of... It's 40 that I need to kill. Now, because of this place, there actually is a way... To get like an infinite number of Nuka World exclusive monsters to kill. But it's very slow. This home. This family. No worry. They not hurt you. You friend Sito mean you friend family. How did you end up being raised by these gorillas? Sito, very small, when first family die. First family look like Sito. Sito not die. Just walk and walk. Find zoo place. Find new family. New family help Sito. Give Sito food. Give water. Keep Sito safe. Now Sito big and strong. Sito help family fight monsters. Uh, you have a lovely family, Sito. You say nice thing. Sito like new friend. Now you help Sito. Family in danger. Hide here from monsters. Here only play safe. Here have no food. Here have no water. Sito go outside to help family. Monster try to kill Sito. Sito kill many. More monsters come. Never stop. Sito scared monster hurt family. I hope you know somewhere to start. Sito maybe know. Sito have story. Story help stop monsters. Sito eat with family. Wrinkly man come inside home. Wrinkly man hurt. Sito try help. Wrinkly man say he make monsters. Sito mad at wrinkly man. Monsters hurt family. Wrinkly man sorry monsters hurt family. He give Sito shiny thing. He say shiny thing help Sito stop monsters. Sito try help more, but Wrinkly Man die. Sito put Wrinkly Man in ground, but keep shiny thing. Now give shiny thing new friend. Help Sito. All right. So yeah, he gave us a, uh, a hollow tape. McDermott's, hopefully that's not bad. I guess that, was it under like Dr. McDermott or something then? Wait. Did he actually just not give it to us yet? Thought it just said McDermott, but Dead I guess. Dead man have important thing. Huh. If you're reading this note, then you've met Marcusito. His father, Marcus, was killed in a super mutant attack on our settlement, and I'm afraid uh, my own wounds will be taking me as well. I don't have much time and I'm terrified to send him out into this world alone, but I don't have any choice. I'm begging you to please take him in and see that he gets some food and shelter he'll need in order to survive. Tell our little Sito that his parents love him and that if he's looking for us, we'll always be inside his heart. Okay. Ant meat, gazelle meat. 
Seen. Oh, it was under Doctor. Man so it seems like the gator claws, the monsters, are coming from an animal cloning facility somewhere beneath Safari Adventure. Shiny thing, help, new friend? Yes, it was very helpful. I just need to find the cloning facility. Sito have idea. Sito see wrinkly man come from big triangle house long time ago. Go to big triangle house. Find cloning facility. Stop monsters. Sito come with new friend. Sito help. Okay, so here's the thing. You can have him follow you. You can have him stay here. And you can have him follow you plus one of the gorillas. But, because I need to make sure I'm killing everything. No. Stay with your family. I got this. Sito stay. Sito protect family. Yeah, we're gonna leave him there. I don't think he has any um, unique dialogue or anything if he travels with you. Even if he does, ugh. I'm not sure I could be bothered to listen to him for that long. But before we go too far... Um... One of the uh, Cappy clues is behind this gorilla statue, I think. I just don't quite remember how to get. Oh, well, bloodworms are definitely a new world thing. Go. That's two more. Those two I weren't even expecting to. Uh, okay, I think there's 21. I had 21 gator claws in the park. Yes. Because despite it saying that they're uh, constantly being cloned, I don't think they actually are currently. I also don't know how to get to this gorilla statue. Oh wait, can I oh I can walk through here. Haha! -ha! See now that's a fucking hidden clue right there. Aha. That's N. Got another one. But there is another one in this park, which is why it uh, doesn't say clear yet. But anyway, he pointed us towards the Triangle Building, which I do believe is the Welcome Center. 
it looked uh, yeah, fairly pyramid-like. But yeah, we're just going to try and like blast through this just so that I don't waste any of the Nuka-Cola stuff. And then we'll worry about looting the place afterwards. Ransom note. Attention, Mr. Brad Burton or one of his lackeys. We have tried doing this a nice way and you haven't played along. You even went so far as to ban us from your parks. Well, sir, this is a free country, despite what you corporate fat cats think. AFAD is going is going to show you you don't have control you thought your money buys you. We have your top scientist, Dr. Hein, held hostage right where you plan to build your precious angry anaconda. Come alone and we can discuss the terms of his release. Bring the police and you lose your star employee. Make the right choice. Due to recent rash of security breaches and Safari Adventure, we'll redefine the security levels of this facility. Code Chinchilla, normal operations, no security measure. Orangutan, light security. Code Dingo is medium, and Code Grizzly is full security lockdown. Which, the facility in full security lockdown, the laboratory can only be accessed by Dr. Hine, Dr. McDermott, and Mr. Bradford, and any attempt to breach the facility will be met with lethal force. Alright. So basically, we need to go and get Listed under the AFAD. We, the members of AFAD, have an important message for those. Timok, tell them what I mean. What are you doing? I have the thing running right now. Don't just say AFAD. Tell them what it stands for. I'm trying to do something serious here, Rabbit, and I already have the recording started. Perfect. Don't forget the part about star rubber handling, right? With the food. You see that red light, yeah? I'm sorry, Jimonk. Just trying to, you know. Just toss that tape and we'll try again. And when we're done, don't throw out the good tape and keep the bad one like last time. Well, I feel like they did. Sounds like Rabbit is kind of bad at her uh, job, I guess. Uh, so I think it's actually directing us back to Cedo to ask what Angry Anaconda is, but we're not going to. It's this way. It's, uh, a, as you can imagine, with a name like Angry Anaconda, it's a roller coaster. And it's, uh, right there. Construction. Uh, oh. I mean, you can. Uh, just like Death Claws. Not very I don't think that they're quite as strong as Death Claws, because I do believe that they're. Uh, but they have lower health, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, as long as all these kills are counting towards my achievement, I don't care. Somebody's got to have the key to this, right? But oh, come on, no, no. 
Oh. Oh, come on, so close. Got it. Hey, there we go. There's his passcode. another door there but yeah the reason why I say we just need to like blast through the, the actual quest involved in this is because I do believe that after we uh, shut down the cloning facility we'll actually just get the quest to uh, kill the rest of the gator claws and it may or may not uh, mark them for us. Yeah, Cappy's Treehouse I think might be another one of the uh, might have another one of the hidden clues. Not you, Although, you know, when you're looking for Cappy clues, I don't know if uh, putting one in Cappy's treehouse is really hiding it all that well, but I mean, I guess it depends on where you put it there, right? Wow, this is actually, these uh, mixes are actually lasting quite a while. there. I think I just heard something spawn. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, well that's weird. Nothing in that place. Oh man, I don't think that one counted. I think my nuke elixir ran off just or ran out just as I killed it. Oh, that sucks. But whatever, I got I guess I got the two blood worms to make up for it. So it's not too bad. Bottle can. Away. Now I guess if they could uh, make a cloning facility at a zoo that would be like a good, well I guess I don't know if it would be a good return on investment because I mean just like you wouldn't have to worry about bringing in you a fan of antique bug. other animals and whatnot, right? Because you could just make a new one, you know, like your lion dies, just make a new one. Stuff like that. I think that's probably just an exit from this place.
program history. Subject has survived the incubation period, but appears to be in a highly volatile and aggressive state. Infusion of command recognition patterns appears impossible. Recommend termination of subject and resequencing after study period in isolation. Continues to be unstable and unpredictable. Oh, God, they put them backwards again. Subject survived incubation period, but exhibited extreme levels of ionizing radiation. The contamination makes the subject too dangerous for command recognition patterns. Sample remitted to incinerator. Next to temple, adjust formula mixture and will provide better shielding for the segmentation chamber. Uh, subject failed to survive the incubation period. Cellular breakdown occurred within one hour of sequencing. Sample remitted to incinerator. There we go. Now we are going to resume because here's the thing. It makes those instead. No, oh, I don't want the final. Now, every two minutes, it'll make a gazelle. Maybe we get something good. Which uh, also count towards the things. And, uh, and it will continuously produce them. Unfortunately, it only produces like one every two minutes or something. So it's very slow. Uh, and yeah, it takes... And it would take forever to get up to... Uh, wow, this is a horrible exit to take, apparently. And it would take forever to... Uh, obviously, if you're starting at zero to get to uh, to get to 40 but thankfully we're not going to be starting at zero because obviously we have the rest of the gator claws to get which should put us at 22 ass can, uh, assuming that it, my uh, thing ran out before the albino died, which I'm reasonably certain it did. Uh, we need to go into Cappy's thing here. I don't remember. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the, the maze here. I think there is a way to like kind of cheat in this maze and uh, get up onto the hedges, but I don't. Oh, hello. But I don't remember exactly how to do it. It's probably just like somewhere at the beginning you can get high enough to hop up on it, but. I mean, obviously, if you had a uh, the jetpack power armor, we could very easily just go up and over it. But we'll just stick with the classic: pick a wall and stick to it. Oh. Rest of them over there. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, weird. Hey, this medallion dispenser. But we need to, uh, I don't want to go through the maze again, but at the same time, I don't want to. Waste my drink. 
now. And as you can tell, my uh, not wanting to go through the the maze again is definitely when you know. Plasma grenade, move another Molotov. More stacks to get to those nice. Molotov. A lot of uh, military guys up here, which is odd. Night vision quad barrel missile launcher. That's like a max upgrade. Alright, um. God damn, one is in the hedge maze. The, the cappy clue. It's not, uh. It's not in the treehouse. It's in the maze somewhere. That's unfortunate, because I don't know where in the maze it is. I mean, it can only be in so many places in the maze, though, right? Because, like... It has to be somewhere that can't be overgrown, right? And there isn't really all that many, like, flat surfaces, yeah? So, I mean, like, it's got to be... Like, it should be fairly obvious, right? Like, even though it's, you know, a little bit blurry because I don't have the glasses on, I should. Don't leave anything behind. If you still be able to find it fairly easily. Because, I mean, it'll be the thing that's not fucking leaves, right? Because these are also the world creatures. Because, you know, obviously we never came across any rats at any point during. Oh, there it is. At any point during our main game. So that's good. Even more bonus. Uh, that means that once we're done, we should have 25 out of 40, which is good. 15 more, and that's assuming I don't fuck up. And while I don't remember too much about the rest of the parks, I'm pretty sure that the, uh, what do you call that one? The, uh, the Wild West one. I don't remember what it's called, though. All right. But the Wild West one, I think, has a bunch of the, uh, the blood worm things. There. Yeah, these nuke elixirs last quite some time. Where's this other one that's. Oh, hello. You're gonna regret this. That one. Bad move. Maybe we get something that one. good. Oh wow, there's only one left inside. Okay, so what would that have been? Twenty-five. Or well, actually, let's see. Do they are do they, are they tracking it? it does not. In the old 26, 728. I mean, we may be getting 
to 30 just from this place. I didn't expect the extra gazelles to be here. Oh, but I see my drink is ran out, but that's fine. It was definitely active when I killed all of those. So that's fine. Oh wait, actually is there expert law? I don't think that it's worth it, especially not since there's a hole on the side that I can get in. But while I don't have a thing active, oh, oh, may as well, right? What does Nika's side do is carry weight? Mad resist. Uh, you may notice I'm not carrying some of the ones that I had been carrying before. That is because it, uh, the ones I got rid of were basically, um, the ones that, as far as I could tell, just healed you. And I think as long as and obviously, like, you know, they heal you over a little bit of time. And as long as that was happening, obviously that would have counted. But odds are they wouldn't last very long. Whereas the stuff that has, like, extra carry weight, uh, damage resistance, stuff like that, they would last a lot longer, right? <sighs> Fuck off. But yeah, I think now that all those are dead, I have to go and talk to Sito again before I can actually uh, do it or play in the place. Uh, they sent me out to the northern habitats today to clean up some vomit from a child who ate too much. Not sure why they picked me again. When I got back, Tomlinson and Fremko were just sitting at the break table talking quietly. The moment I came into the room, they both nervously looked at me, got up and left. Something is definitely going on around. Fremke called in sick today, so I had to change out the lights in the reptile house. Took me almost six hours since the place was so damn crowded. I was putting the equipment back into the maintenance shed, and I saw Fremke and Tomlinson sitting in Fremke's car. I saw Fremke hand something over, and then Tomlinson got out and walked away. I need to get to the bottom of this. I decided to put a holotape recorder in the empty locker next to Fremke's. I didn't get anything for days, but finally I scored big when I picked up a conversation between Fremke and Tomlinson. They were talking about something called Project Cobalt. I have no idea what that is. They never tell the janitorial staff anything important. Why am I being left out? The work orders were piling up, but I couldn't stand waiting anymore. I finally cornered Fremke and confronted him about Project Cobalt. He tried to lie his way out of it at first, but he finally gave in and told me it was a joint cooperation project between the U.S. military and Nuka World. I couldn't believe it. I mean, what the hell could we have here that the military needed? I had to know more. Fremke told me to drop it, but the hell with that guy. I am taking this to Brad Burton himself if I have to. Uh, it's been two weeks since Ross asked me about Cobalt. I told that idiot to drop it, but he wouldn't listen. All of a sudden, our department gets noticed that Ross is taking an unscheduled vacation, and no one seems to know where he's gone. Now they want me to purge his terminal before the end of October. I hate to wipe all of this out, but I can't refuse. If I don't do what they security department says I may end up on vacation too and then obviously the bombs fell before they could uh, do anything about it all right so I'm assuming that this is the bear cave attraction not the bear is probably supposed to be on the other side of that door but let's see is there supposed to be anything in here to call it dark. That's pretty much it. I don't remember what drinks I need for to make the rest of my mixtures that I need for that achievement, but we made decent progress in the uh, in the killing stuff one while well under the effects of them. So in between parts I may very well decide to go back into the cloning facility there and just chill and kill stuff, but 
I don't know how much that'll help. All right, okay, first things first, so let's check to see. Because we kind of just popped into the reptile house, blasted the gator claw, and left. Uh, oh, it says that there might be rad rats in here, though, so let's uh, go back in. Hopefully we can get to them before my drink wears off. I'm assuming that they had a uh, an alligator in there. I mean, I have a feeling that using this gun for them is uh, probably more than overkill, but, you know, I have so many bullets and I may as well. I am tempted to put a, uh, a better scope on it, but just to increase like my VATS hit chance, but at the same time, I don't like using scopes on automatic guns, <laughs> or like my uh, manual aiming, so. In the event that a visitor has been bitten or stung by any one of our specimens, don't panic and follow these procedures. Confirm that the visitor has a valid park admission ticket with the liability release printed on the back. <laughs> If they have a valid parking mission, they must immediately fill out a Safari Adventure Incident Report. The reports are available in Nukatown, USA at the main office. If the visitor is paralyzed or otherwise unable to move on their own, inform them that a Nuka World emergency stretcher can be dispatched for $400. Fucking hell. Once a Safari Adventure Incident Report has been completed, first aid will be provided. Cost of materials and paramedics sheet for labor will be billed to the visitor. The visitor does not have a valid parking mission. Please call security as soon as possible. Wow, this place fucking sucks. Due to recent incidents, the Death Adder, the Black Mamba, and the Inland Thai Pen spe specimens have been removed from the Little Kids Reptile Petting Zone. In the future, employees are strongly encouraged to read the warnings on our enclosures before transferring specimens. Really? Who the fuck puts those snakes in a petting zone for kids? Like, really? Uh, guides, please refrain from telling visitors that snake eggs should make a heck of a delicious omelette. This fact is wildly incorrect. Due to recent security issues involving the group calling itself AFED, please do not allow any visitors to hold a specimen that's been removed from its enclosure for reptile touch time. Guides must hold the specimen during the entire experience. We've already lost three very expensive reptiles to this misguided animal rights group, but we cannot allow them to steal any more. I mean, based on how you treat your uh, the guests to your park, I can't imagine that you treat your animals anymore and while i think that a lot of these animal rights groups go way too far and are way too like i don't know into it uh, i feel like this one may have a valid point okay uh in the theater we just popped in Shot the gator clon left, but apparently that's pretty much all there is to do there. And then the primate house, which is where we are going to be headed here in a second. Mm. Yeah, just Cito's note. And then the last thing. Oh, wait. Where's the theater? Did I pass it yet? Just ahead. Uh, there actually is another Nuka Cola recipe here. Uh, says. Prepare to experience life beyond Earth and among the stars. Uh, How do I get behind? Oh, that gator claw had nothing on it. No meat, no claw, hide, nothing. There we are. Nope. So I'm gonna throw out some bullets though, which is odd. I need to get to that side. Looks like. Is there a gate here that I can open? No. Seriously, how do you get back there? I mean, I guess I can just go around and climb up, 
but I mean that doesn't Well, that would also be another one. So yeah, we're definitely hitting 30 just from this place. So that's good. Assuming everything I'm killing counts. But I mean like the rats, the blood worms, Excellent. those flying ants. Those are obviously all completely new um, creatures for the Nuka World DLC. The only thing that I'm not 100% sure of is the Gator Claws. Because if the Nuka Lurks don't count because they're just a different Meyer Lurk, then it's entirely possible that uh, the Gator Claws don't either, but I'm really hoping they do, because I mean, come on. They may be similar to the, the Death Claws, but like, they're still not nearly as similar to Death Claws as uh, Nuka Lurks are to Meyer Lurks. Alright, was there anything else in the welcome center? Yeah, the Nuka Rush, the Manifesto. Oh, there actually was. So let's pop in there and grab those. even get another gazelle killed here. Sounds uh been gone for a little while. Okay well actually let's just go see if there is a gazelle and pop it. While I still have the uh the active doesn't seem to have produced another one. That could be because I uh, wasn't down here, but... Oh well. Alright, anyway. Let's see. Got some journals. And that. Oh, oh, here. There. Okay, let's check it. 47B, I guess let's try this one first. This is Dr. Terra McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility, continuing my personal recordings. It's been, well, I don't know how long it's been. I think I stopped counting months ago, or was it years? Even with the scientific equipment at my disposal, it's clear there's no going back. for my new cloning research. Perhaps this curse 
I mean, here's the thing, though, right? Like, with a replicator, and that, they still need to be pulling stuff. Like, they still need, like, resources, materials, I guess, to create the creature, right? Like, you can't just build a cow. Like, you can't just clone a cow. Like, you need something to be... Like, you can't just create a cow out of nothing. Like, you still need something to turn into said cow, right? Alright, let's see. Are these backwards, too? Uh, yep, they sure are, fuckers. Uh, I think I drank a little too much last night when ringing in the new year. Woke up right next to the Nucagen Replicator's main terminal, and a program was running. It looks like I was trying to sequence another... A sequence an anteater with 16 giraffe-type legs, scales, four eyes, and two tails. Amusingly, even in my inebriated state, I've created a fairly viable specimen sequence that could possibly work. I don't think the animal would live very long, but my scientific curiosity says I should give it a try. I'll have to consult Dr. McDermott. Okay. Uh, those damn aphid is idiots are at it again. It's only been a few weeks since they vandalized my Crovega by filling it with manure. And the security department assured me that would be the last time they were allowed anywhere near Nuka World. However, I arrived at the facility today to find stuff the torture painted across the security door. Don't know why these morons think they're tor think we're torturing animals. Anything we need to dispose of in the laboratory is dealt with in a swift and rather humane manner. Thanks to Dr. McDermott's help, I've been able to isolate the segmentation issues I've been having with whatever that is, my polar bears. Oh, the polar bears on the last segment kept coming out of the Nucagen replicator inside out and then exploding. I assume this was due to an incorrect sequence, but I've never seen such a violent reaction from a specimen before. It was actually a rather spectacular result, strictly from a scientific point of view. Yeah, I would imagine so. It's like, man, we're trying to create something inside out and then explode it. It's like that scene in uh, Galaxy Quest. I've had my third request for a budget increase denied due to resources being diverted to this Project Cobalt I am hearing so much about. I hope Brad Burton realizes that Safari Adventure isn't just an amusement park. It's also home to several hundred living and breathing organisms which have unique food, water, and environmental requirements. I've asked for more information on Project Cobalt, but I am continually met with denials. For all the trouble it's worth, this project better be something big. I do believe that Project Cobalt is behind that door. That we couldn't get into in the bottling plant. It's about 1 a.m. and I've just received a strange message via phone that I'm needed at the angry anaconda construction site to assist with an escaped animal that's been injured. I swear those security guys need to be more careful with our specimens. Last time this happened, not only did one of the escaped buffalo end up with a broken leg, but the other died when security had the wrong dosage in the tranquilizer darts. I'll report my findings in the next entry. And then obviously... He never made it to the next entry because he got kidnapped and then, you know, the bombs fell and everyone died. Oh, another Nuka Cola. Let's see, date out of range. Uh, looks like once again backwards, though. Yeah, it's been decades now. My metamorphosis continues. My body is changing, adapting to the radioactive. The radioactive fallout in the air. Instead of my organs shutting down and my life being slowly drained away, my body is fading back. My skin is thickening and become heavily wrinkled, as if it's attempting to resist the radiation rather than allow it to penetrate my body. Rather than be horrified by the change, I've decided to study them to learn more about the effect this is having on the human body. Perhaps I'll use the data from my, these studies to find a cure one day, but for now, I'm just happy to be alive. How long has it been since the bombs fell and transformed me into this withered up husk of a man? Can't even remember how much time has passed. I've started talking to myself aloud now. I think this loneliness is finally getting to me. I haven't seen a friendly human in such a long time. I've almost forgotten what it's like. Trying to concentrate on work is getting more and more difficult. Maybe it would be better if I ended it all now. But then I ask myself who would protect this lab from those who seek to misuse its gifts. I suppose I have no choice. One of the two backup reactors for the lab died today. That leaves a single generator to run the facility's power. If that last reactor goes down, I may have to consider destroying the Nucagen replicator and abandoning the lab. Even though I could have already done this a long time ago, I realized that this machine could possibly be the last of its kind on Earth, meaning this could be mankind's only hope for repopulating the Earth with animals and returning the ecosystem to normal once conditions on the surface are suitable for habitation. 
While foraging for food and supplies today, I stumbled across the remains of an astonishing biological specimen. It was a humanoid in appearance, but much longer. It had greenish colored skin and roughly human features. It appeared to be wearing clothing and had been recently killed by what looked like bullet wounds. After dragging it back to the lab, I began an extensive examination. My conclusion was that this was the genetic, was the genetic mutation of a human. I can only hope that whatever caused this remarkable mutation can be extracted and used for my own experimentation. I'm entering into the record at sample key whatever. So that was probably super good then. My attempts at creating the gator claw continue. I have the correct samples of Jackson chameleon and American alligator in the mix, but keeping sample whatever stable continues to elude me. If I intend to create a guardian creature for Safari Adventure, it has to be able to listen to and comprehend my commands. I was hoping the brain cells from whatever would do the trick, but I've seen failure after failure. I hesitate to throw the switch and see what happens. What if I can't control it? What if it ends up attracting more attention to the park? I think I'll check the sequence a few more times just to be sure. Q334. Is that what the... Yeah, that's a super mutant. So the gator claws have a super mutant brain, eh? That's interesting. Uh, where's the, uh, basement, where the replicator? <laughs> Even if it has made another gazelle, my drinks ran out. I'm not drinking another one for a single kill. No, that's not where it is. It should be over here. Um, oh, yeah, I missed that entirely. All right, and that's everything in here. Now, where's my? How many new kid tickets do I have? Because I feel like we've definitely picked up a bunch, but I like every time I pick up the rolls now, I haven't been seeing it pop up in the corner how many we've got. But I mean, we're up to forty-four hundred, so I mean that's pretty good. I mean, it'll. Uh, Still a long ways from a hundred thousand, but I mean, oh God, yeah, I really feel like that's got to be a typo. I think I agree with everyone else that it was a typo. That just never got corrected. So with that, we just need to head over to the primate house, talk to Cedo, and then we can claim this place for ourselves. Although, come to think of it, I haven't seen the slide pool. I would imagine that it's over at the welcome center, but I'm not a hundred percent on that. I don't. Well, I mean, the only other place where it could theoretically be would be at Cappy's treehouse, right? Because like it's high up. No, like this place. New friend done. No more monsters? And they should not be coming back. Your family's safe, Sito. Sito, so happy. How Sito thank new friend? I have some friends moving in here. But if you play it cool, we can all get along. Can you do that? Sito trust you. Sito like more new friends. Before go. Here, new friend, take. It better shiny thing Sito save. Sito want to give. 
Thank you, new friend. Sito always remember you. All right, Sito Shiny Slugger refills your action points on a critical hit. It's not a horrible weapon. But yeah, so you can deal with Sito and his family also by killing them all. That's your other option. But if you convince them to stay, they'll obviously... Or if you convince them to share, they'll obviously stay there with them. And uh, after the gangs take over, whichever one you assign here, we're going to do the pack. Uh, Sito actually has different things to say based on which one you've chosen. Uh, unsurprisingly, he actually does enjoy the pack being there. He does not mind at all if you move the pack in. Uh, so, I mean, that's handy. Hey. Nope, not. Boop. And the pack is now here. And then, you know, at some point we'll get the notification to come and uh, pick up our stuff and we'll be able to see them actually here. All right. So we've got two more areas to cover. We have Dry Rock Gulch and the Galactic Zone. Uh, we'll do Dry Rock Gulch next. And we'll save the Galactic Zone for last. In the hopes that we'll have... Oh, well, I guess we can't, actually. I was going to say in the hopes that we'll have all of the star control things that we need, but I guess that's not really possible because I do believe that there's some in the power plant and you can't get to the uh, the power plant. Nuka Galaxy, Mulligan's Minecart Ride. Right, so we got one more medal to get in Dry Rock and we got two in Galactazone. Uh, we still have four more spacesuits, but I think those are all pretty much in Galactic Zone. And then obviously we just have to secure the last two places. And then we find the hidden cafes in the places. I don't remember how many are each. And then I think that's... Yeah. Alright. So that'll be it for this part. Thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you next time for Dry Rock Gulch in the western area.